Hi. Now, if you watched the previous video in this series, I gave you these two general results for these two integrals. They involved the modulus sign, the natural log of the modulus of x and the natural log of the modulus of a function of x. But what I want to show you in this video is how we would use these results in a practical example. And I've got this example here where you're asked to find the shaded area for this graph here, y equals 1 over x. And we've got to find the area shaded in blue here, bounded by the x-axis, the curve, and the lines x equals minus 3 and x equals minus 2. Now, the first thing we'd want to do then is just integrate the function y equals 1 over x. So we'll start off then with the integral of 1 over x. We integrate it with respect to x and it has to go between the limits x equals minus 3 to x equals minus 2. And if we pick up on this result here, it's equal to the natural log of the modulus then of x. Now we need to put it between two limits, those limits then being minus 3 to minus 2. So put those in, minus 3 to minus 2. And we now substitute our limits in and we would have the natural log then of the modulus of minus 2 minus the natural log of the modulus of minus 3. Now because we've got a modulus sign around each of these values, we just take the positive values. So in other words, we're looking at the natural log of 2 now minus the natural log of 3. And if you use the simplifying rules for logs, you'll know that if you're subtracting two values here, this is the same as the natural log of 2 thirds. Now although this value looks positive, it is in fact a negative number because if you take the log of any number less than 1, it's negative. And we would expect that because the area we're looking at is below the x-axis. So we'd always get negative values. So we need to negate that to get the area. So therefore the area is going to be equal to minus the natural log of two-thirds. And that will give us now a positive value for that area. And if you were to work it out on your calculator, it turns out to be 0.4. 405. I'm going to write in here square units because we're dealing with an area and that is rounded to three decimal places, 3dp for short. So thanks for watching and hopefully you've got an idea now of how we would use the modulus sign, especially in an example like this.